And what, correct me if I'm wrong, the, the rebuttal to that is natural selection is not completely random. Well, no, that's right. What he overlooked was that it doesn't happen all in one go. He, he imagined all the bits coming together at random. Um, and that's one case that doesn't work, and it has another random thing that doesn't work. Of course you want, but what, what you need is, let's, let's use the eye, even though he didn't. Um, you need a slightly less good eye, and then a slightly less good eye, and a slightly less good eye. And if you start with just a, uh, a sheet of light-sensitive cells, which just detect whether it's light or dark, that's useful. It's not like it's better than not having it's it. Better than not having it. You can yeah. tell when when it's night or day. You can tell whether there's a predator flying overhead. And then, if you have a um, a slightly cup shaped, if you if you if you bend that retina from a flat thing into a slight cup, then if it's coming from that direction, it hits that side of the. Of the we are on video, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, uh, and so you get, it's not an image, but it, but it gives a slight direction. directionality. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, it, then you close up and you start to get a pinhole camera. Um, it's a very crude, it's out of focus, but it's sort of an image. And then you need a little bit of transparent gunk in there. It's not a proper lens, but it does something like a lens. And, and all these stages 